Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. I've got a Ruby Ale to review for you. It's from uh, it's from Lancaster. Lancaster Brewery, I believe. Should have prepared this, really. Lancaster Brewery? It is Lancaster Brewery. <laughs> I've never had anything from these guys before. This was given to me at Christmas. And this is a bottle of their Lancaster Red. It's coming in at 4.8% ABV in a 500ml bottle. And it's obviously Lancaster Ale, Lancaster Brewery from Lancashire. There is the Lancashire Rose, I'm assuming, on the bottle cap. Very nice too. Nicely presented bottle of beer, this one. Lancaster Red, ruby rich, hearty and robust. We've described it as. <coughs> Plenty of spiel on the back. <clears throat> uh, it says appearance should be rich, dark, chestnut red. An aroma of grassy hops balanced with toasted malt. And a flavour of grassy hops balanced with toasted malt again. Uh, medium bitterness and quite strong sweetness apparently on this one. Uh, contains malt with barley, wheat, hops, water and yeast. So yeah, 4.8% ABV beer from Lancaster Brewery. There you go, Lancaster Red. Let's get the, uh, the beer out of the bottle. See if it's any good while I'm busy trashing the table. Getting everything out of the way. Let's get this rather nice bottle cap off. Into the glass. See if it's any good. It's certainly got a very traditional ruby ale look about it. A bit jubbly. There. There is the sail with the light on it. It's a ha slightly hazy looking ale. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that was going to be crystal clear, but there's a slight haze to it. Um, hasn't really developed much of a head. Barely half a finger. Slightly off white head, but that is definitely a very dark red, hazy looking ale. Um, I'm quite intrigued. I just I wasn't expecting the haze. It's an unfiltered ruby red ale. Let's get me snouting, see what the aroma's telling us. Oh, I smells lovely. Really fruity. Fruity. Dark fruit. Sweet dark fruit, sort of berries. Oh, it smells really pleasant. That smells really nice. Toffee. Bit of caramel, blackberries, raspberries, plums. It smells gorgeous. Really, really nice aroma. And it's hanging around as well. It's not needing a shake up. It smells cracking. Lovely bready malt character to it. Um, yeah, let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers. That's nice. That's a good beer. That is a very nice Ruby Ale. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, it's very nicely balanced. It's got a nice balance to it. I was, I had to wait around for a little while. It's quite a slow progressor on the palate, this particular beer. Up front, it's very sweet. It's got a good bit of body to it. Medium bodied. The carbonation is not crazy, but it does enough. It does enough to really coat the palate. I'm getting biscuity, bready malt, sweet bready malt. It's kind of covered the sides of my tongue, my cheeks. It's got a, a lot going on with it, and then I'm thinking to myself, there's no bitterness to it. Well, I like a bit of the hoppy bitterness, a bit of something character from the hops. And you think it's not going to come. <clears throat> and then it does. You hang around for a little while and then it rises and you get a nice little bitterness. 
at the back end. Nothing mad, nothing crazy, but that subtle bitterness at the back end balances out the rest of it because there's nothing overroaring about this beer. It's a very easy drinking, nicely made Ruby Ale. Really fruity, it's quite, quite sweet. Sweet malt and dark fruit. Very forward that on the flavour. But not over, overly so. It's significant, but it's not overpowering. And then here's that bitterness now. It comes slightly sort of roasted malt, slightly toasted malt, hoppy bitterness. Flavour comes in at the back end and balances out that fruitiness and that sweet malt that you got at the beginning. There's a lovely balance to it. Um, it's really pleasant. It's really pleasant. 4.8. Um, I would say it's quite sessionable ABV. But it's this, it's definitely the sort of beer I'd happily quite uh, I'd happily sit and enjoy a few of though. Definitely, especially this time of year. When the weather's cold, it's grey, it's wet outside, it's just the sort of beer you want. Um I could say I'd I'd had nothing from these guys before. This was a Christmas uh, a gift from a family member who lives up in the northwest. And um yeah, I'm I'm impressed. So thank you to them for this one. Um I'm gonna have to check them out now. Once they I've had a good beer from a brewery, I'm then intrigued. I wanna know what else they do. Is that good? Um, because this for me ticks all the boxes for a very good Ruby A. I'm not gonna say it's my favourite style of beer. It has its time, it has its place, and that's very much this time of year. Christmas is done, we're into the new year, the weather's miserable, we're all trying to get back into the swing of things. And a beer like this, I think just makes the day a little bit more a little bit more easy going. <laughs> a little bit more pleasurable. That is a perfectly decent amber, or ruby, should I say. Dark red. I love the haze to it. I love the unfiltered nature to it. Um, that's a really nicely brewed ruby. Don't, at least I don't see many ruby ales. I can't think of, I've had too many ruby ales on the channel that have looked like that. That coppery, hazy, coppery ruby look to it. Lacing on the glass is all very impressive as well. That's a lovely beer. It really is. I'm well impressed. Red Rose, it's literally called. Lancaster Red, Red Rose. Lancaster Red Premium Ale. It says Red Rose on the top there, but I think it is literally called Lancaster Red. Lancaster Red Premium Ale. It says try it with Lancashire Hot Pot. Hot Pot. It had to say a hot pot, didn't it? Or baked zucchini. Lancashire Hot Pots. Um, that's lovely. I've really enjoyed that. Really have. You know it's a good one when it's nearly all gone by the end of the video. Uh, I better stop there before I do drink it all. Um, that's a perfectly decent, very nicely brewed Ruby Ale. I'm going to give that 8 out of 10. I think that's really nice. So yeah, what are they called? Lancaster Brewery with their Lancaster Red. Go check them out. Have they got a website on here? Yep, lancasterbrewery.co.uk. Um, I don't know if they're on socials. New social medias. They might be. Check them out. That's nice. Lancaster Red from Lancashire Brewery. Lancaster Brewery. I keep getting it wrong. Lancaster Brewery with the Lancaster Red. 8 out of 10. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one. You guys take care.